Now listen, due to copyright reasons, we can't put the IG live up because he actually played a song in the video. So if we put it up, they're going to pretty much give us a strike. So in order to kind of get away from that, y'all just go to the comments below. We put the actual IG live in the comments below. And this so y'all can check it out there. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, first and foremost, shout out to Red Roms TV. Um, we got the video courtesy of them. Make sure y'all go check out their page. Subscribe to his channel as well. Turn them up and show some love. But um, today we're going to speak about your boy Mana Duke. We haven't spoken on him in a little minute too, but um, today, you know, a couple of our supporters sent us this video. Apparently, Duke went live, and um, a little Dirk song came on during the live, and Duke immediately wanted to change the song. Now, I think a lot of people sent this to us because if y'all remember before in the past, we did say that Lil Dirk and Mona Duke, they're not really vibing with each other for whatever reason we don't know. But like I said, they're not really vibing with each other. And it's kind of concerning because we do know that King Vaughn, you know, and Mona Duke had a real tight relationship. And a lot of people feel that your boy Lil Dirk and King Vaughn also had a tight relationship prior to his passing as well. So when it comes to him not wanting to listen to a song of Lil Dirk's, See, a lot of people would think that it was just innocent, like, oh, maybe he just didn't want to listen to the song. But some people are saying that it happened in a way that he didn't want to hear it because it was specifically Little Dirk on the song. So what I'll do is play the video for y'all real quick so y'all can check it out and tell me what y'all think. Then we're going to speak on it. So y'all check it out real quick. OK, so here's the thing, right? We've done a video way before saying that there's some type of secret attention between Mother Duke and Little Dirk. But of course, being that they didn't come out and say it out their own mouths, it's hard for people to believe. However, if you're paying attention to what's going on, it's not hard to read between the lines at all. Now, the biggest example of this is that if Dirk was so cool with King Vaughn, as y'all say, prior to his passing, and Duke was pretty much King Vaughn's right hand man, why aren't they hanging with each other, communicating, no nothing? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Why isn't Dirk promoting any of Duke's music? And vice versa. You know why Duke ain't promoting Dirk music? Like, what's the disconnect between the two? It's clear it's day was going on despite y'all refusing to believe it. But my only question is, why? You know, what's keeping them so distant from each other? But um, anyway, so Duke on live, suddenly a little Dirk song came on. And clearly whoever the female was in the background wasn't listening to Duke when he was saying to change it. It seems like she was trying to figure out why he was telling her to change it because she seemed confused as well. But he then proceeded to get up after she continued to play Dirk and got up and you could hear them in the background, you know, speaking in a low tone. You couldn't hear too much of what um, he was saying, but you could tell that they were trying to be discreet. However, you hear her saying y'all must be into it or something, you know. Now, although Duke never replied to it, he just looked at her. But it just goes to show that we aren't the only ones realizing that it's some sort of weird tension between Dirk and Duke. You know, like I said, she seemed like she was kind of confused, like, why you want to turn the song off? You know, we don't know what it is, but y'all got to realize that nobody's going to come out and just say, hey, we're not rocking with each other. It's just one of those, you know what, you stay over there and I'm going to stay over here. And I always I always go back to the Mimo situation because y'all thought they was cool, but the whole time they weren't. And we only knew 100 percent that things, you know, wasn't as cool as we thought when it got too big for them to hide. When the THF Bezu situation happened, we kind of knew like, I bet, you know what, that stamped it. But they've been really at odds prior to then. It was just under wraps. So 
Now, of course, some people are going to say we reaching and X, Y, and Z because most people just don't want to face reality and they got selective memory and they, they chose to be blind to the things that's right there in their face. But it is what it is, you know? Now, even in the video, at one point, it seemed like he was even singing, you know, some of Dirk's part. I don't know if maybe that was a throw off or maybe he was just doing it because he didn't want to be outlandish with it. But around the 37 second timestamp, right? When he got up, you can hear him saying, that n-word cap if you really listen to the video you can hear him say that n-word is cap then you get here before the live ended whoever the girl was in the background say y'all must be into it or something or whatever the case may be see let me tell y'all something it's not about him changing the song because we all know that it could just be him wanting to listen to vaughn he could just be wanting to listen to another song and and don't feel like listening to that song right now but i think it's more so how he went by it, how he did it you know how he went about doing things. It's the body language. It's the girl in the background and her reaction to him and how they were communicating in the background that makes people think that he turned it off specifically because it was Lil Dirk on the song. Not because he didn't want to listen to the song, but because of who was on the song. It was more than just him not wanting to listen to that song. And I think that's what people picked up on. So um, anyway, y'all jump in the comments, man. How y'all feel about this? Let us know, you know, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.